welcome. Thanks for joining us. Triple A Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Scranton Wilkes-Barre Rail Riders taking on the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set and now Oswald Peraza. Tapped on the ground softly to short. Fires over to first. And a quick out number one. Jose Peraza at the plate. The second baseman. Jose Kicks and fires. And that one just missed off the outside edge. One down, base is empty. Gets him to chase after that one. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. This one in the air right field. Makes the grab on the run. And there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Phillip Evans, the next to hit. Here's a one-two. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. And there's a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Two outs, runner at first. Ronald Guzman will hit next. Foul ball there. Kicks and deals. And it's even up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Left hand batter waits. Way outside. And it's three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Out to short. That ends the frame. of the first and now it's going to be Nick Maton the wind of the pitch that one back up the middle and it gets through just kept it simple played pepper with the middle of the infield and took Not it back exactly. where it came from and there's just no one there to knock it down and here is Herrera And the righty deals. Stays alive. And the right hater deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Maton gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Lined into right. Beltre makes the play, and there's one down. And now the right fielder, John Andreoli. The right fielder, John Andreoli. And a base hit on the line. And that's going to get into the corner. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. Second and third, one gone. And now the first baseman, Derek Hall. And a pitch. Tap to first. Guzman picks it up, and the first run of the game comes across. Now the left fielder, Josh Steven. Two outs. Got him. Good job at damage control right there. Welcome back. And now the center fielder, Esteban Florial. And 
And that one is lifted in the air. Herrera makes the grab, and there's one down. So digging in, Ryan Lamar. Next pitch misses outside. Two balls, two strikes. And he deals. That one lifted to left. Steven moving under it and makes the grab. Two down. Here is Ender Enciarte. Two down, nobody on. Stays alive. The 2 2. Count this ball, 3 and 2. Soft contact in the air, makes the play, and it's out number three. Bottom of the second, leading off, Josh Akami. The three one right through there for a strike three one count saying to himself I've got to get a fastball here just spins a get me over breaking ball to bring the count full the throw to first and quickly one away in the second now the third baseman will toppy the third baseman will toppy one one now Rolled softly, but that goes foul. And down on strikes he goes. That's the second out. And now Ronald Torres. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Out number three. New inning getting started. Now it's the right fielder, Michael Beltre. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Herrera makes the catch, and there's one away. Here's the catcher, Rob Brantley. The catcher, Rob Brantley. Next pitch misses inside. Now three and one. There's a strike. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. Steven on the run towards the line. Pulls it in on the run. And there's two away. So the lineup flips over. And here is Oswald Peraza. And a pinch. Out into left center for a line drive base hit. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. And a pitch. This to third. They get the force, and that will end the inning.
back here at the ballpark. Stepping in, Nick Maton. Pitch misses inside, and now three and one. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Oduble Herrera now at the plate. 0 for 1 so far. Maton aboard here at first with nobody out. Down the left field line. Base hit. And that's going to get into the corner. Throw comes in. Runner stopped. Second and third. Nobody out. I love that swing, and I'm sure his hitting coach does even more. Took the pitch right on the low outside corner of the zone and just ripped it for a base hit. And that's easier said than done. And now here is John Andrioli. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Righty delivers. Just misses. And the count is even two and two. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Got him. Down on strikes. And he knew it. And here's the first baseman, Derek Hall. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. Here's a 1 2. That misses off the outside edge. And a swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Here's the left fielder, Josh Steven. Right-hander kicks, deals. Foul ball. In the air, left field. Lamar makes the catch, and that'll do it. As we go to the top of the fourth. Here's the third baseman, Philip Evans. Flares it towards left center field. Makes the catch for the out. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Ronald Guzman. Grounded out his first time. pitch and there's a foul ball swings and misses and now two gone two outs base is empty and now it's Esteban Florial the pitch swing and a miss and he chases that one in the dirt Marshawn collects, oh. fires to first. That completes the strikeout, and that'll do it. Bottom four. Now it's the DH, Josh Akami. The wind of the pitch. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Hard ground ball, base knock. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And here is Will Toppy. That one in for a strike, two and two.
and a pitch. Stays alive. Next offering is downstairs. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One out in the bottom of the fourth. So up next, Ronald Torres. Lifted in the air, right center field. Beltre on the move. He's got it, and there's two away. Rafael Marchand getting ready to hit. Now batting the catcher, Rafael Marchand. Here comes a pitch. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Now at the plate, Nick Maton. At the belt and fires. And there is another strikeout. Fires over to Guzman. And that is the inning. And welcome back. Now here is Ryan Lamar. The one one swing and a miss he was late strike two he's pitching well but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes usually doesn't work out for success but you can never predict baseball makes the grab one down here's ender and crt and a one one fly ball to right Calls it in, two away. Lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there, especially with pitches that they see pretty well. That was a good example. He hooked an outside pitch, hit that ball in the air to right, just not with much authority. Next offering is down low. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Got him looking. And that is that. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Shelby Miller. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the number two hitter, Odubel Herrera. The wide to kick the pitch. That one down the line. That's a fair ball, and it's getting into the corner. And that one's going to get into the corner. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Two hits for him in this one. Both were extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And the batter now, John Andrioli. Next offering upstairs. And a big swing and a miss. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Now it's going to be Derek Hall. Runner at second here. One gone. Next offering is in for a strike.
runner leads away at second. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two gone now. So two down now. And here is Josh Steven. The pitch. Ripped on a line. Florio makes the catch. And that'll do it. Top of the sixth inning. Now it's the shortstop, Oswald Peraza. The pitch. And it is two and one. Just missed. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Next offering finds the zone of the count is full. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Next offering is in for a strike. That's down and in. Line drive. That's a base hit. And now runners at the corners. Nobody out. Well, that was an important at bat in this game. So a great job there stepping up to the challenge. A lot of hitters tell themselves line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed on time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Left hand hitter waits. And a foul ball, he stays alive. You need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something. But you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get... Now this one gets through. The run scores from third. It's 1-1. And they don't push it. Runner holds it third. Base is loaded now with still nobody out. Christopher Sanchez into the game. And he steps right into a bases loaded jam. Bases loaded, nobody out. Here's the center fielder, Esteban Florial. Kicks and deals. Stays alive. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And that's ripped for a base hit. One run across. Another scores. Two runs in on the play, and they take a two-run lead. Well, he had the opportunity to drive in some runs, and he comes through to break the tie. Absolutely hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity, and at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. The pitch. Now a screamer into the outfield. He's got it. Both runners tagging. The relay to the plate. Not in time. He scores. And they're up by three. That wasn't your standard sack fly. He barreled that baseball. Just couldn't get it to drop in. Florial takes his lead at third with one away. Next pitch has popped up. And there's two down. For now, Michael Beltre. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Falling behind two and one. Runner at third, two away. Hard hit left side. Whips it to first. Ends the inning after they racked up a bunch of runs. Welcome back. Bottom of the six. And now the DH, Josh Akami. Hey. 
next one misses and a count two and one. Rips that one to right. Beltre pulls it down. One down. Now the third baseman, Will Toffee, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Ground ball to the right side. He steps on the bag. And a couple of quick outs. Next to hit, Ronald Torres. Next offering is in for a strike. One and two. Kicks and fires. That one is absolutely belted. Can't get their base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Digging in, Rafael Marchand. And a 2-1 on the way. Line drive, short hop to third. Fires to first. In time, got him. And that'll do it. here at the ballpark and now the catcher comes up to him Rob Brantley and here it comes next offering is outside Ground ball to first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Back to the top of the lineup. Oswald Peraza, the next to hit. The 1 1. Good eye right there. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. And that one hit to first. Takes it himself. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the second baseman, Jose Peraza. Two outs. That one misses. And a count, two and a one. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Andrioli makes the catch, and that'll do it. And welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now, Nick Maton. And the righty deals. And now it's even up. And he chases that one. And there's one down. Odubel Herrera will hit next. The wind and the pitch. And a count one and two. And the right hander deals. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. Down the line towards the corner. Nice grab on the run. Two down. Here's a speed threat, John Andreoli. And a pitch. And a liner out into right center for a base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he's got his second double of the game. 
Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Oh, this ball's down. And that could bring in a run. Run comes in from second. And now just a two-run deficit. Well, that gets him a little closer in this one. It's hard to hit a baseball much better than that, and even a lot of professional hitters aren't able to reach an exit velo of 114 miles per hour. I'll tell you what, that's a very impressive swing at the bat. And a swing and a miss. That's the third out, inning over. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's the third baseman, Philip Evans. And a pitch. Two balls, one strike, a count. Fouls one off, two and two. And he deals. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. And a swing and a miss. One out. And now the first baseman, Ronald Guzman. One for three. Well, you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Next one off the plate inside. And that's ball three. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Now here is Esteban Florial. Got him looking. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Man at first, next to hit, Ryan Lamar. And now the lefty just missed. That's where you want it, it's a good miss. The pitch. In the air, left side. Steven, under this one, pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is the third out of the inning. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Ryan Weber. And he has some nasty breaking stuff. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now Josh Akami. Right-hander kicks deals. Bounced up the middle. Oh, he gloves it. Throw to first. On the money. Nice play. Now Will Toppy. The third baseman. Right-handed reliever, Ball. and now two and one. We got two balls, one strike. Now a drag bunt, third base side. He's safe, on with a bunt single. Nice job picking out a spot to put the bunt down there. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And the pitch. Tapped softly on the ground. Whips it across. Got him. And now the switch hitting catcher, Rafael Marchand. Runner at second, two down. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And that's down and away. 
They tried to get him to go. Chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. That one the other way. No one can get there. It falls in. Lamar to second. Not in time. He's safe as a run scores on the play. Well, back within one as he brings home the run. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. At the play, Nick Maton. And a swing and a miss. Inning over, and it could have been worse. New pitcher on now, Sam Kunra. And he'll do his best to keep this close. set for the start of the inning and now it's going to be Ender and Ciarte that missed inside now two balls and a strike left hand batter waits Andrioli on his way over and in foul ground he pulls it down one out maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it so digging in, Michael Beltre. The count two and one. And that's in for a strike. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. And that one pulled foul. 2-2 two -two now. And a foul ball. Righty to the plate. This to center field. Pereira under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. Out number two. Now the catcher up to hit. Rob Brantley. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. And there's a fly ball, deep right field, and it slams off the bottom of the wall. And he'll pull into second safely. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Solid double down the line, and that was a pretty decent pitch that he just turned on. Not really out over the plate. It was inside, but he was more than ready to get that bat through the zone. And now Oswald Peraza. Swing and a miss. Struck him out, and that's the third out. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Zach Britton. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Welcome back. Bottom nine. And now the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. Here comes a pitch. And there's the strike. In the air, right field. Could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. Not in time. He's safe. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. And now here is John Andrioli. Well, they're applying pressure. Quality at bats, quality swings right now. And see this offense doing it one man to the next. Showing a lot of fight right now. And they're making it difficult for the back end of this bullpen to close out this game. Beltre makes the play. Runner tags up for third. And he makes it up to third with one away. And 
And here's the first baseman, Derek Hall. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at-bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Next pitch is downstairs. Kicks and deals. And fouled off. The tying run is 90 feet away. Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty. Next offering is downstairs. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Try to keep the game alive here in the bottom of the ninth. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip the zone. That's a stone cold take. He's two outs away. Now the left fielder, Josh Steven. pitch to first maybe a two ball throws to second for one out a double play to end it well it's a tough loss with the tying run at third trying to get it in could have perhaps tied up this ball game would have been pretty difficult to get that run all the way around from first base but this comes down to being able to put the ball in play hitting in situations they just weren't able to do it in this one and the final score here four three for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. the rail riders four runs seven hits no errors they left six men on base for the iron page three runs 12 hits no errors they left 12 men on base time of the ball game three hours and six minutes thank you for joining us here this afternoon and we remind you to please drive home safely